Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Houston Sports Stuff back in the video today. And today, we're going to be talking about the Las Vegas Raiders potentially drafting Jaden Daniels. It's been reported by Bleacher Report today that the Raiders are eyeing Jaden Daniels and would like to potentially draft him. The, the thing is, is that the Raiders are not in the position to land Jaden Daniels. If you didn't know, they have the 13th overall pick in the 2024 NFL draft. And Jaden Daniels is a projected top four pick in this upcoming year, in this upcoming. Uh, draft right now in recent mock drafts he's usually been projected to go number three to the new england patriots Jaden daniels won the heisman award of uh, this past college football season was incredible through 40 touchdown passes through only four interceptions out of all quarterbacks that are featured in this draft he threw the fewest interceptions he was a great runner in, in this past season as well uh did a lot on his feet for the lsu tigers as well and was very f efficient for the lsu tigers and i honestly have said this uh even before the college football season ended Jaden daniels before he entered this draft before he entered for the 2020 2024 nfl draft he was the best quarterback in college football i think i believe Jaden daniels is better than caleb williams but you know i believe he's better than drake may as well um the two guys that are entering uh this draft i like i like caleb williams but i i see a lot of potentially Bryce Young, what we saw from Bryce Young this year, and potentially Caleb Williams. Now, if he goes to the Bears, I think that could be a different story because the Bears, you know, they they might have a talented team next year offensively. Defensively, that will be a debate. But um, I feel like like if he, if he sets himself up to go to a team like the Washington Commanders, uh, I just don't see a lot of success with the Commanders even though you know he'd be with the offensive coordinator like uh, Cliff Kingsbury, um, just a part of me feels that you know the best the best spot for Caleb Williams would still you know would, would for me would be the Bears. But at the same time, I'm not feeling that great about Caleb Williams. I I believe the best quarterback in this draft is Jaden Daniels. I think out of all the and I said this about CJ Stroud last year, um, you know when talking about comparing to him to Bryce Young and Anthony Richardson. I believe Jaden Daniels will have a more successful career than both Caleb Williams and Drake May. And, you know, this is something that very well, I, if some, something tells me could, this could backfire on me, but I think Jaden Daniels is one of the most uh, talented quarterbacks that I've seen come out of college since Joe Burrow, ironically, another LSU Tiger. Um, but getting into it, I mean, like, this is – I have a trade proposal that would potentially work out between the two teams. And I kind of, when I went through this potential trade, it reminded me a lot between the Pan the Panthers bears trade last year when the bears were at one and they traded down all the way to nine, uh, to, you know, to, to go down and the Panthers traded up to get Bryce young. This is a very similar situation. The Raiders are trading up for a quarterback to get the quarterback of their future, just like the Panthers were. They're, the, the two teams, you compare the spots, different numbers, but it's around the same number of spots that the two teams traded for. I mean, you have the you have the uh, Raiders who ended up, number, they're number three, the, sorry, the Raiders at 13 and the Patriots are at three. That's the team I have them trading with. I think you have to give the Patriots a good offer for them to let go of that draft pick. But the Patriots, it's been reported they are willing to let go of that draft pick. Uh, look at last year. The Panthers were at nine, and the Bears were at one. That's nine spots uh, that the Panthers jumped up now, or eight. Uh, then the Raiders uh, are at 13, the Patriots at three. That's nine spots. So it's only a difference of one. It's only a difference of one spot between the two trades. The this trade idea and the trade last year. So here's the trade idea I have that would um, be with the Raiders and the Patriots. So the Raiders would receive the third overall pick, and the Patriots would receive the thirteenth overall pick. The 44th overall pick, which is the Raiders' second round pick, which is in the middle of the second round. Uh, also, a fifth round pick in this year's draft uh, in 2024. 
Uh, also, they would receive uh, a 2025 first round pick from Las Vegas, and they would also receive a wide receiver, Hunter Renfro, which for the Raiders, they get to let go of Renfro's contract, and for the Patriots, they get a wide receiver. They need wide receivers bad. I don't know if this is someone they'd want to bring in, but Renfro's a talented wide receiver, and if you if you've seen what Hunter Renfro you know, was doing with the Raiders as the wide receiver one before Devontae Adams or Jacoby Myers got there. Renfro's pretty talented. I think he could work well whoever's throwing the ball for the Patriots next season. Now, for the Patriots, they give up on potentially landing a, a potential star in Jaden Daniels and settle for getting the 13th overall pick, a future first, and two other draft picks with a wide receiver. Is that is that a deal that is worth the Patriots falling down all the way to 13? Who knows what they do with that 13th overall pick, what they'd select up, and who they would select with the 13th overall pick. Uh, I don't know. But for the Raiders, I know that Jane Daniels is probably one of their best options for their quarterback next season. Uh, I think it's. I think for the Raiders, I think their quarterback next season, I think you should either trade up for Jane Daniels or trade Justin trade for Justin Fields. I think those are two guys who have a lot of arm strength. They can get the ball to Devontae Adams. I think... You got to bring in a guy who, who's going to be good for Devontae Adams. If you're not going to trade the guy, I mean, he's a talented wide receiver. He needs a talented quarterback with him. I mean, the guy had Aaron Rodgers for so long. You need to get Devontae Adams some talented quarterback play. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo straight up trash when he was with the Raiders uh, last season. Now I'm not going to hate on Aiden O'Connell because I think for a rookie fifth round pick, as he was, uh, no one expected him to to play at all. Um, I think he did a, a solid job, but I don't think he has the arm strength uh, that either Jaden Daniels or Justin Fields have or someone that they can bring in to upgrade the quarterback play. I, I honestly, for the Raiders, I wouldn't be mad if they decided to keep Aiden O'Connell as their starting quarterback. I think it'd probably be smart to keep him as their backup because uh, I think he could be a very good backup quarterback in this league or a starter somewhere else with what he did with Las Vegas. Wasn't bad at all. Um but uh, I just think that for De- having Devontae Adams, also having Jacoby Myers, who I, I thought showed that he's very he's very talented and had one of his best he had his best season of his career last season with Las Vegas. They also have a really talented tight end, Michael Mer- Meyer, as well. So with a, a really talented tight end who's only in his, going into his second season, two talented wide receivers and Jacoby Myers and. Uh, Devontae Adams, I think you have to get a talented quarterback. I think Jaden Daniels and Justin Fields have to be the top. Uh, they have to be on the top of the Raiders list. There were thoughts on the Raiders potentially trading up and drafting Jaden Daniels in the comment section, and peace out.